Clifford's First Halloween by Norman Bridwell. I hope you like Clifford. I always liked him as a kid. I always wanted a big red dog like that. Trick or treat. I'm Emily Elizabeth the cat. And the big red clown is my dog Clifford. Clifford was not always this big. Many Halloweens ago, he was just a tiny red puppy. I wanted to take Clifford out trick-or-treating, but the mask and hat didn't fit. He was not a happy clown. I tried dressing him up as an angel. While I was putting my fairy costume on, he ate his halo. Then I found the perfect costume for my small red puppy. Clifford was the littlest ghost I'd ever ever seen. Oh, and he was so cute too. My neighbors were nice. We both got lots of good treats. When we got home, Daddy was carving a pumpkin for our Halloween party. Clifford was a nosy little puppy. Oof! Now we had a jack-o'-lantern that barked and stuck out its tongue. <laughs> I showed Clifford my Halloween noisemaker. He was surprised. Then it was time for the party. All my friends came. Mommy made us candy apples. Clifford wondered how they tasted. The candy was sort of sticky. <laughs> I had to give Clifford a quick bath. It was time to go into the haunted house. Our jack-o'-lantern looked very spooky. Clifford followed me into the haunted house, but he didn't like it very much. Then Mommy dimmed the lights and told a scary story about the haunted hand that crept around the house. Suddenly, we saw a giant hand wriggling on the wall. We were scared. What was it? The hand came closer and closer. We laughed when we saw it was only Clifford. It was a great party. Clifford is grown up now, but he still makes Halloween a special day for everyone. Well, I hope you like Clifford, and I hope you like that story, and I hope you have a happy Halloween. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye-bye.